Welcome to Electron Online, and now let's talk about the modulus of a complex number. What is the modulus? Well, it's also called the absolute value, so let's write that down. So modulus is also known as the absolute value of a complex number. Absolute value. All right, so what does that mean graphically? Well, let's say we have another complex number right here, a plus bi. a is the real part, bi is the imaginary part. And if I draw that on the real and imaginary axis plane right here, so we have this point right there, so A represents to a point on the real axis, B represents a point on the imaginary axis, and then the distance from the origin, from the center right here of the axis, to the point, that is then the distance, also known as the absolute value of that particular point. So if Z is equal to, let's say, A plus bi, then the absolute value of c, which is also known as the modulus of z, is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared, which is basically the distance formula, or you could also think of it as the Pythagorean theorem. It's the diagonal distance of this triangle made up from the opposite side, which is the height of the imaginary number, and the adjacent side, which is the distance of the real number, and of course this then would be the angle theta, relating the opposite side to the adjacent side to the hypotenuse, and in this case the hypotenuse is known as the modulus, or it's known as the absolute value of the number. Now notice we have a distance from the origin right here to the uh, complex number. We also have the angle relative to the horizontal axis, and then of course you can see the similarity already between this and polar coordinates, because then if we draw the polar coordinates on a axis like this, and we pick a point right here, we can say that this then would be the radius, and of course I picked the wrong point, let's go like right there, so there's the radius, and this would be the angle theta. So there's a relationship between an, a complex number right here and the polar coordinates for where we have the radius or distance to the point and the angle relative to the horizontal axis. So you can see the similarity between the two, and you can see now that the distance r would then be similar to what we call the modules or the absolute value of the complex number, and now we have the angle theta, which then would be the same on both uh, axes right there. So, now that we have that similarity right here, now let's do the conversion between complex numbers and polar coordinates back and forth, and let's do that on our next video.